All right, hello everybody. My name is Sirloin Sandwich. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on the new uh, CDLC tracker modules. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump right in. Uh, you can see that I've placed a scout here on the map uh, in the area that I want to uh, work in, I suppose. And uh, I've set the damage to false so that we can demonstrate this. Um, I'm also going to be placing a couple of Zeus modules uh, just so I can kind of demonstrate uh, what happens when the tracker module is enabled. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so all we need to do to enable the trackers is place the tracker module. It is under the uh, SOG CDLC missions modules. Uh, so we're going to take this tracker area module and we're going to place it where we want it on the map. Uh, the defaults, I believe, are um, uh, one kilometer radius. Uh, you can change those in the settings. We'll go ahead and look at that now. So opening up the settings, if we go to transformation, we can change the size. We're just going to leave that default for now. Uh, you can also change the shape of the tracker area. The system specific settings uh, are going to allow us to change the uh, run condition and the alert level. Uh, run condition is just whether or not this is uh, currently running. You can bind it to a trigger or something like that. And then the alert level is going to change uh, what the starting behavior of the module is. Uh, sentries spawns, um, slowly spawns groups of two units uh, up to a maximum that I haven't determined yet. Uh, trackers spawns groups of two units, uh, and I believe that they behave more um, aggressively toward the player, um, as in they, they actively track the player. Uh, patrols spawns groups of four units, and then Avalanche spawns uh, full squads uh, that converge on the player's position. Uh, this alert level will naturally progress as you play your mission, so um, just be aware that if you place uh, a tracker area, um, it will get more and more aggressive the more trackers you engage. Uh, there's some module info here. Uh, I haven't played around with any of this, but presumably you can change the side uh, of the module so you could have blue floor tracking uh, opt for and things like that. All right, so once we've placed this, uh, we're just going to uh, go ahead and start the mission, and I'll just demonstrate some of what happens. Uh, we just left it on sentries alert level. We'll go ahead and move around a bit uh, to give the AI something to track. All right, and then we're going to open up Zeus to kind of observe the behavior of the AI. OK, so now that we've added editable objects, you can see that there is an AI group. Let's see, where are they? Uh, here in the mountains, uh, and they're currently moving around. Uh, right now, they're just patrolling because this is the sentry's behavior. And I believe if we try this again, yep, there we go. So it's now added another two groups. And they're both in sentry, uh, like the sentry behavior, because we haven't actually engaged any trackers yet. Um, and if you were to engage these tracker, trackers, the alert level would increase, uh, and it would begin spawning more units, including reinforcements, to track your position. Uh, so that's how the, the module behaves. The alert level just changes, uh, I believe, uh, past the first level it changes the behavior and then uh, begins to change the number of units that are spawned, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so one more thing that we're going to look at is the tracker group reinforcements requesters. It's a long module name. Uh, this is a little bit different than the tracker area uh, and can be used to set up like specific installations that have um, trackers or rather uh, patrols that respond to player actions. So we're going to go ahead and delete this uh, tracker area module first. Uh, we'll go ahead and move our character over here. 
uh, to this little village, uh, and we're going to place uh, a small patrol really quick and then demonstrate how the module affects that patrol. So we just set up a little cycle waypoint there for that, um, that uh, sentry team to patrol that road. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place that tracker group reinforcements requesters module. Now all we have to do with this is sync it to the group leader of any group that we want to be able to call reinforcements. So we'll go ahead and do that now, just right clicking on the group leader and syncing to the module. And we, we can see that the module info just says that groups of synced units spawn reinforcement groups nearby after reaching the combat alert level. Uh, this defaults to um, the uh, Pavin units. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a way to change it yet, so we'll have to investigate that further in the future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place my character down here on the other side of this uh, little field, and we will uh, launch the mission and kind of observe the behavior of the AI. Okay, so we can see our two AI riflemen patrolling out there, and they haven't spotted us yet. We'll go into Zeus, and we'll go ahead and add those as editable objects again, just so we can see all of the characters that are uh, present on the field. Okay, so we can see that there's just these uh, this riflemen in the RTO that are patrolling on the road. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and engage them uh, as the player, and we'll see what happens when the reinforcements spawn. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go back into Zeus. Remember, I'm invincible, so it's not going to be able to kill me. And if we go update editable objects again, we will see, oh, hasn't spawned yet. But there we go. So now we see that a reinforcement squad has spawned over here um, a couple hundred meters away, uh, and they're moving to the position of the squad when it was engaged. So um, you can use this to set up patrols around uh, small villages and locations. Uh, and I may make a tutorial on how to use the random, um, the random sites module uh, in the future uh, and combine these two modules to make uh, patrols that call reinforcements and things like that. Anyway, that is my tutorial on the uh, tracker modules and the tracker reinforcements modules. Um, I hope you found this helpful and enjoy.